for, for five minutes, then we'll take a break because we have votes coming up anyway. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. At our hearing last July, I laid out the scheme that the Bidens concocted to sell the Biden brand, netting almost $30 million for various members of the Biden family. This scheme was repeated with various clients in Kazakhstan, China, Romania, Russia, and Ukraine. I'm going to spend my time on just one instance, Ukraine, specifically involving Burisma, which netted Hunter over $3 million during a three-year period. And to clarify the criminal offenses being alleged, for Hunter Biden, it is conspiracy to commit bribery, 18 U.S.C., Section 201B, uh, 2A, and C. And for Joe Biden, it's conspiracy to commit extortion under color of official right, 18 U.S.C., Section 1951B, 2. And if you want a refresher on those, just look up Senator Menendez and his wife's indictment. Um, so let's start with this. Foreign client has a problem. I've got an email here um, from Vadim Pazarsky, the Secretary of Burisma, and he is advocating that Hunter Biden intervene with um, U.S., high-level U.S. officials to facilitate meetings and communications expressing their positive opinion of Zlachevsky, the president of Burisma, to the Ukrainian president, chief of staff, prosecutor general, with the ultimate purpose to close down any cases against Zlachevsky in Ukraine. Uh, this is dated um, November 2nd, November 2nd. Now, keep in mind... And again, foreign client has a problem. Zlachevsky is being investigated by Viktor Shokin, the uh, inspector general of Ukraine, and he needs help, the Biden brand. So here we got bank records galore of Hunter Biden receiving, prior to this email, over a million dollars. After this email, two million dollars. You'll find out in a second he really earned his fee. So again, client pays a Biden, three million dollars. Next. What is it? What happens? What happens? This is great. Eleven days later. Eleven days later. We have uh, the U.S. Embassy in Ukraine announcing that Vice President Biden is traveling to Ukraine on December 7th. Oh, interesting. Vice President Biden travels to the country. Here we got a great photo of him touching down. They're very proud of themselves. So Vice President Biden leverages U.S. policy to achieve a favorable outcome for the client. We've all seen the video. He brags about leveraging U.S. foreign uh, loan uh, guarantees to get the Ukrainian government to fire Viktor Shokin to end the investigation. Again, we've got the email from Podarsky saying that we need to leverage you, who have not provided value yet for your million dollars in service, uh, Hunter. He brings in the big guy. Biden leverages U.S. influence, withholds a billion dollars in loan guarantee to fire Shokin. So if that's not enough, we got the victory lap here. We got a, an email just a few months later saying, uh, whoa, we won in less than a year. You brought us in, so take a victory lap. So look, I mean, this is straightforward. This is straightforward. Pay to play. It is bribery. Hunter Biden was paid $3 million at the lowest point in his life. He testified in the deposition that he was drug addicted, that he's never been to Ukraine. Yet he's paid $3 million to get his father to go to solve his client's problem. That is the scheme. Mr. Bobulinski, does this sound like the scheme that you've seen the Biden family do? I wasn't involved in Ukraine, but the uh, facts surrounding this are very similar to CFC and uh, Romania. Thank you for that. So this is the thing. If Hunter Biden were here, we would be able to ask him some questions, maybe clear this up. But he's not. He's not here. And what's interesting is that just yesterday, Peter Navarro reported to federal prison in Miami for four months for not showing up in front of the January 6th committee. And I want to point out to everybody that the January 6th committee was procedurally defective under House rules. It was procedurally defective because uh, the minority leader did not get to appoint members to that committee. The United States House of Representatives Oversight and Accountability Committee is a procedurally uh, perfect committee. And we have authority to subpoena Hunter Biden, and he has to show up. He has to answer these questions, and he has to tell the world that his father didn't leverage U.S. foreign policy so he would get $3 million. This is no different than what Senator Menendez did. And look, the American people are not buying this nonsense y'all are selling. We have to restore, we must restore their faith in our institutions. And we have to stop this ridiculous two-tiered system of justice where uh, the Department of Justice persecutes President Trump and uh, hides Hunter Biden behind every uh, corner. I mean, this is not the United States of America that the American people deserve. 
And we have to get our country back on track. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Mr. Chairman, parliamentary inquiry, did the committee subpoena Hunter Biden today? Chair recognizes, uh, uh, pursuant to the previous order and at the request of the minority witness, the chair declares the committee in recess.